Okay, so here we're going to give an overview of the website profiler. So from your dashboard, if you click on add new website, the website profiler form is visible if you click the radio button website profiler. And this is a summary report. It can be used for business development if your business development guys don't want to go and annoy the technical guys. They can enter the details here of a prospect that they're targeting and run the website profile report. And it's just really a quick summary or overview of a particular page, either the home page or some individual page within that website. And you can also do some social media high level analysis that will show you if there's any activity around particular tags or uh, um, product names or service names keywords or competitors. So you'll see that the website profile report is a lot more slimmed down than the SEO Workbench Analysis monthly report. Again, you've got the first name, second name, company name, address, details, and this can be either the client's details or your own details. Same with the email address. Uh, here you can put in the website name. As I said, it can be a home name or it can be uh, an individual page name. You set up the search parameters as before. Do you want to search the web or search pages from the target country when we're looking at the visibility for this page or if it's a home page? Do you want to do a keyword an exact match? In other words, if your keyword phrase was internet marketing, do you want to bring back results that only have the keyword internet marketing together in the search engine results page? <coughs> or do you want a broad match to keywords that or pages to come back that have the keywords internet and marketing uh, on that page, not necessarily together. Uh, primary target country, you can see here there's only one target country you can choose. Your top 10 keywords separated by a comma. And again, notification, who do you want the reports emailed to? Same as above or to different people. The social media info, here you can put in the various different tags, for instance, uh, for Interledo here we put in product name SEO Workbench. You can put in different, uh, your own website, interledo.com in this case. You can put in people, keywords, or competitors. And remember, if you're doing this on behalf of a client, what it's going to do is it's going to let you see is there any visibility or any activity on those various tags. At the moment, we're looking at four different social media sources, and they are Dig, Delicious, Flickr, and YouTube. So it covers different uh, online photo sharing, uh, videos, and bookmarking sites. So you click all that and click uh, enter all the details there, click save, and the website profiler will go off and start running. It should take about um, one hour or less to generate a report. When it's finished, get a notification through email and you'll see it appear here uh, in your website profile report section so you can go in and click on it down at the top icon here website profiler and you can go in and see this website profiler that was run for a target country United States and you can see really what it just gives you is a quick one page overview what are some of the top SEO issues on that page how well ranked is that page page it would be for that site. Ranking in Google, how well ranked is this site for the different keywords in your target country? Uh, who are the top competitors for those keywords? What general information do you have? Domain age, where it's hosted, number of web pages, page rank, number of backlinks, and social media. So how many times were these tags mentioned in video platforms, which you know is Flickr, social bookmarking, dig, the list, delicious, and online photo sharing. So here you can see, okay, there's some activity here going on for the tags that we put in here, or these different um, tags on the right-hand side. A bit of social bookmarking and online photo sharing, nothing really happening there. If you're talking to a prospective client, you can use this as an opportunity to start the social media conversation. What social media website should your client be looking at? Should they be looking at developing videos and uploading them? Should they be looking at social bookmarking? 
Should they be looking at Flickr or they should be looking at tagging their images with their keywords? This one page overview, you can export to HTML and send to the prospect. You can export it to PDF or send it directly here uh, through, uh, through email. So that's the website profiler. It's a quick summary of the website and the web page. It gives you the, some of the top SEO issues, how to, what the ranking is like in Google, some of your keyword competitors, some general information, and some social media information. This should be a very useful business development tool that your company can use to engage with your existing or new prospects, or if you're a website owner, you want to do some quick analysis maybe on some of your client sites uh, your competitor sites or if you have work on one site and you want to do some investigating yourself use the website profiler to cut the time that you use uh, to do some quick analysis that's it thank you